vouchsafe some motion to it. Our ears vouchsafe it. But your legs should do it. Since you are strangers and come here by chance, we'll not be nice. Take hands. We will not dance. If you deny to dance, let's hold more chat. In private, then. I am best pleased with that. But handed mistress, one sweet word with thee. Honey and milk and sugar. There are three. Nay, then, two trays, and if you grow so nice, Meteglin, Wart, and Mamsey, well, Randai says half a dozen sweets. Seventh sweet at you. Since you can cog, I'll play no more with you. One word in secret. Let it not be sweet. The grease, my gall. Gall? Bitter. Therefore, meet. Will you vouchsafe with me to change a word? Name it. Fair lady. Say you so. Fair lord. Take that for your fair lady. Please it you as much in private, and I'll bid adieu. What? Was your visit made without a tongue? I know the reason, lady, why you ask. Oh, for your reason. Quickly, sir, I long. You have a double tongue within your mask, and would afford my speechless wizard Halif. Well, quoth the Dutchman, is not veal a calf? A calf, fair lady. No, a fair lord calf. Let's part the word. No, I'll not be your half. Take all and wean it. It may prove an ox. Look how you butt yourself in these sharp mocks. Will you give horns, chaste lady? Do not so. Then die a calf before your horns do grow. A word in private with you ere I die. Bleat softly then. The butcher hears you cry. The tongues of mocking witches are as keen as is the razor's edge invisible, cutting a smaller hair than may be seen. Above the sense of sense, so sensible seemeth their conference. Their conceits have wings, fleeter than arrows, bullets, wind, thought, swifter things. Not one word more. My maids, break off, break off. By heaven, all dry, beaten with pure scoff. Farewell, mad wenches. You have simple wit. Twenty adieus, my frozen muscovitz. <laughs> are these the breed of wits so wondered at? Tapers they are with your sweet breaths puffed out. The liking bits they have. Gross, gross, fat, fat. Oh, poverty and wit, kingly poor flower. <laughs> Will they not think you hang themselves tonight? <laughs> or ever but in visards show their faces. <laughs> this pert barone was out of countenance quite. They were all in lamentable cases. The king was weeping ripe for a good word. Barone <laughs> did swear himself out of all suit. Jermaine was at my service. And his sword. No point, quoth I. <laughs> <laughs> my servant straight was mute. Lord Longerville said I came o'er his heart and try you what he called me. Quam, perhaps. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> Sickness is the <laughs> Well, better wits of one plain statute caps. But will you hear? The king is my love sworn. And quick Barone hath plighted troth to me. And Longerville was for my service born. Jumaine is mine, as sure as bark on tree. <laughs> <laughs> Madam and pretty mistresses, give in. Immediately they will again be here in their own shapes, for it can never be they will digest this harsh indignity. Will they return? They will, they will, God knows, and leap for joy, though they are lame with blows. Therefore, change favours, and when they repair, blow like sweet roses in this summer air. What shall we do if they return in their own shapes to woo? Good madam, if by me you'll be advised, let's mock them still as well known as disguised. Let us... Complain to them what fools were here, disguised like muscovites and shapeless gear, and wonder what they were, and to what end their shallow shows and prologues vilely penned. Fair sir, God save you. Where's the princess? Gone to her tent. Please that your majesty command me any service to her, though? That she vouchsafe me audience for one word. I will. And so will she, I know, my lord. This fellow pecks up wit as pigeons peas. Enough is it again when God doth please. His wit's peddler. 
and retails his wares at wakes and wassails, meetings, markets, fairs. And we that sell by gross, the Lord doth know, have not the grace to grace it with such show. This is the April form, Monsieur the Nice, who when he plays at tables, chides the dice in honourable terms. Oh, he can sing a mean, most meanly, and in ushering, mend him who can. The ladies call him sweet. The stairs, as he treads on them, kiss his feet. This is the flower that smiles on everyone to show his teeth as white as whalist bone. And consciences that will not die in debt give him the dew of honey-tongued boyette. And blister on his sweet tongue with my heart that put Amado's page out of his path. See where it comes. Behaviour, what wert thou till this man showed thee, and what art thou now? All hail, sweet madam, and fair time of day. Fair in all hail is foul, as I can see. Construe my speeches better, if you may. Then wish me better. I will give you leave. We came to visit you, and purpose now to lead you to our court. <gasps> Vouchsafe it then.